And this is actually really cool in my opinion. This is not something you see in many, if any, software. <laughs> So below the canvas area, we have our color palette, which many of you are familiar with if you've been using Inkscape over the years. They used to have another scroll bar down here, which was kind of confusing because there's a scroll bar here for the canvas, and then you'd have to hover your mouse over this scroll bar to get it to appear, and then you would scroll to the right to view more swatches here. And it kind of looks like these are all the swatches available in Inkscape, but it's actually not. There are more swatches available, but what do you have to do now in Inkscape 1.2 is use these little arrows, and that allows you to cycle through the various rows of color swatches, and as you can see, there are several. Another new feature here is going to be this little hamburger icon, and if I click on that, we're now going to get these full color previews of the swatches inside each color palette. So you'll see this one's labeled blues, and we get a nice blue preview there. So when I click on that, now we can see the blues color palette, and this one only has two rows. So come back over here to the little menu, and we've got MATLAB Jet. There you can see all the color palettes in there. So let me just come back here and go back to the Inkscape default. And something else I wanna point out is this little configure menu down here. This is brand new, so if I click configure, now we're gonna get this little menu that allows us to configure the look of the color palette. And this is actually really cool in my opinion. This is not something you see in many, if any, software. Uh, so right here we have the tile size, and by default this is set to 16, but you can increase or decrease the tile size now. And you'll see it, in it increases or decreases in increments of one. So as I mentioned in my article, very granular in terms of you know, how minute the changes are that you can make to your UI. The aspect ratio we can change of the tiles as well. So you'll see when I drag it to the left, they get taller and skinnier. Drag it to the right, they get squished. So you can change the aspect ratio as well. You can change the border. So if I drag this, you'll see the border around each tile will now increase. And finally, I can change the number of rows that display by default. So if you don't wanna to have to sit there and use the up and down arrows to scroll through all the color palettes in here, all the swatches in here, you can increase the number of rows and it's gonna show all those rows by default. I don't like having too big of a border, so let's turn that down. Maybe I'll go with two, and let's just shrink the rows down. So that is the configure menu here inside of the color palette. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.